Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube channel today. Today is August the 22nd of 2022. I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord. May it bring encouragement to your spirit as you listen. I'd like to take a minute to invite those of you who are not yet subscribers to subscribe and click the notification bell for new videos as they come out. For those of you who continue to follow, I thank you for your support. Just a reminder to go to my website, click on the upper right hand corner of the word and a downloadable PDF will be available. For text versions of these prophetic words that have been given in the past, click the archive link to access them. As with other prophetic words, the Lord is continuing to speak of the work he is accomplishing in this day. He is taking down the old and implementing the new, meaning he is addressing the existing structures and especially religious structures who call themselves by his name. He is bringing them into accountability. And so there is a great upheaval going on in the land as evil is exposed in the structures of men. And as we've all been praying for, the Lord is instituting his kingdom in the earth. And so he is also building the new. I hope this word will encourage you today. The title is Taking the Land. I'll begin by reading scripture. Philippians 2 verses 9 through 11. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. This scripture passage brings joy to our hearts as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ because Jesus has been exalted to the highest place and his name is above every other name. This scripture tells us that every knee should bow to the name of Jesus and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Ezekiel 37 verses 1 through 5 The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones, and he led me around among them, and behold, there were very many on the surface of the valley, and behold, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. This scripture passage from Ezekiel speaks of the vision that Ezekiel had of standing amongst dry bones. The Lord challenges Ezekiel with a question. Can these dry bones live again? Then the Lord told Ezekiel to prophesy over the dry bones, to tell these dry bones to hear the word of the Lord, and that the outcome would be 
that these dry bones would come to life once again. Hebrews 4 verse 12 For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. These two scriptures both speak of the word of God and the power that is in that word as it is spoken forth. I'll begin reading this word. I am taking you higher, pulling you up above the chaos that is round about you. I am pulling you up and establishing you in the call upon your life to bring life to those who are in despair, says the Lord. Life is in the power of the tongue. Prophesy to the dry bones. Prophesy life into those who are lifeless, and they shall be raised up into life. Get ready. I have called you, and I am taking you on. No demon in hell will be able to stand against the power I am pouring into and out through my chosen vessels. Every giant will be smitten in your midst. You shall go forth throughout the land proclaiming Jesus as Lord and seizing the weapons of the enemy. Every one of those who function with these weapons shall be stripped naked. They shall stand apprehended by the power of the word that goes forth through your lips. Every weapon shall be apprehended and laid at my feet. Every instrument that has been raised up against the hand of the Lord shall be brought down. I am exalting my name throughout the earth, and it shall be waved forth like a banner over those who are mine, says the Lord. You will not stand alone. I am standing right beside you. I am a glorious warrior, and I will intercept every weapon formed against you, and you shall not be harmed, for I have my seal upon you. I have given you life. Take it to the nations. I am taking down a hierarchy of evildoers within your midst, pulling down a structure that has oppressed the people and kept them bound. And I am raising up my army of warriors to go forth throughout the land to take the high places. The forces are coming into rank and moving forward. You will see right before your eyes the awesome work I do. You will see demons flee as you enter a room, for the radiance of the Lord is round about you, and no unclean thing can stand in the presence of God. I am increasing my glory upon my chosen ones, says the Lord, increasing my presence that goes with them and increasing the power of my spirit flowing through them to break down walls of division. I am increasing the accuracy and precision of word flowing forth from their lips to bombard hardness of heart in the ones spoken to. You will see those I send you to will not be able to refute the word of the Lord spoken. It shall go forth to cut apart flesh from spirit. Its aim is accurate, and as it goes forth, so does the power of the risen Lord to capture every thought that exalts itself above the knowledge of the Lord. This is the day of the vengeance of God, and every hierarchy of power is being brought down to nothing. 
Kings and princes will bow the knee to the King of kings and Lord of lords, those in positions of authority who have lorded it over the people are being brought into submission at the Lord's feet, and they will no longer rule with contempt, but they shall be broken under the mighty hand of God. I am releasing a rod of judgment into the earth, and those who have hounded and scattered the sheep will be brought down. Their works of iniquity are being exposed, and they are being brought into accountability for every idle word they have spoken. They shall stand before the Lord, before the throne of God, and give testimony of all their evil deeds. For I am moving quickly throughout the land to chop down every planting that is not of me, every tree that is not born fruit. It is only hay and stubble and will be thrown into the fire for its destruction. Destruction. My word shall go forth throughout the earth to bring down the high places. It shall bring workers of iniquity to their knees. My anger has been kindled against the house of the Lord, and every worker of iniquity, every evil doer, shall be plucked up bundled up and thrown into the fire. You will see it, you will see in your midst that the trees are coming down, those planted in positions of authority that have not produced fruit, those who have not gathered in the fruit of the vineyard, but have exploited those under their authority and made for themselves a name. They shall be brought to nothing. Their names shall be removed from the midst of the people, erased from the minds of men, and heard no more. I am raising up a breed that shall go forth in the power and majesty of the Lord to do great exploits for their king, and the name written upon them shall be the name of the Lord." They shall go forth proclaiming this name throughout the earth, and every name of man shall be removed, for only the name of the Lord shall remain. This word today focuses in on the power of the word of God. The power of the word of God will subdue the nations. The Lord is telling us he is increasing that power within us as we speak forth his word. And it tells us that he is increasing the accuracy and precision of the word as it goes forth, that it will cut to the heart of those who hear it. And the Lord once again speaks of the judgment that he is bringing upon evildoers, that he is chopping down every tree that has not produced good fruit for his kingdom, that he is bringing into accountability all those who have been in positions of authority, and especially those in the household of God, who have made a name for themselves at the expense of caring for the sheep and managing the vineyard properly. As we read in Philippians, the name of the Lord is the name above every other name. And in this word today, the Lord is telling us that he is taking his rightful place that every other name will be brought down as they compete with his name. And so it is by the power of the spoken word through God's end-time army of warriors that will take down the high places, that will bring people to their knees, 
that will exalt the name of the Lord over all the earth, and so take the land. It's time to recognize the power the Lord has given us in his name, that the words we speak are effective to pulling down strongholds, to taking down every vain imagination, and to speaking into existence those things the Lord has promised, just as the dry bones were prophesied to and came to life, the Lord expects us to prophesy life to the world around us, to the people around us, to speak forth the truth of the word of God, which brings life. And so we are all commissioned in this day to be vassals fit for his use and to do great exploits for our king. God has given us great weapons, but the greatest one is the sword of the Spirit, the word of God. Let's sharpen our swords today and get on the offensive and take the ground the Lord has given us in his name. Thank you for listening today. I hope this word will bless and encourage you, will cause you to rise up and to stand on guard to take your place in the army of the Lord, to be fruitful, to be effective in taking down the strongholds by the words we speak. Be blessed on this day. Thank you for joining me, and we'll talk to you again the next time. Have a great day. Bye for now.